fungi. I call them the death eaters. These creatures can't make their own food, so they depend on others to eat. And then they prefer them dead. In some cases, they're actually okay with their prey being alive. In those cases, they're called parasitic. Most parasitic fungi are microscopic and may be better known by their symptoms, like brown, rotten peaches. Domesticated animals are also harmed by toxic introduced fungi. For example, you have Pythomyces carterum, which causes facial eczema in cattle and sheep. Another non-native fungus of New Zealand, the chytrid batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, has been implicated in the global decline of frogs, including the rare Archie's frog in New Zealand. You don't need to remember that. Okay? And the next story will make you want to run away from the next fungus that you see. The fungus, a parasitic fungus, called zombie ant fungi is known to manipulate the brains of ants. When an ant comes across fungal spores while foraging, the fungus infects the insect and quickly spreads throughout its body. And the attack happens, fungal cells in the ant's head release chemicals that hijack the insect's central nervous system. The fungus then takes over the brain of the ant, forces the ant to climb up vegetation and clamp down onto a leaf or a twig before killing its hapless drones. So to make it more gruesome, it then grows a spore releasing stalk out of the back of the victim's head to infect more ants on the ground below. 